What's going on, Collective? It's your girl, Mimi. I'm back, okay? <sighs> I had to give me some tea. Like, my sinus pressure been kind of fucked up all day. Like, I, I feel like I'm talking out my nose. I can't sing. I'm like, let me go ahead and take my little nighttime tea. So, I got my lemon. I got my honey. But these tea bags that I use, oh my goodness. I have the best dreams. I have the best sleep. Like, I literally fall asleep. Like, I don't force myself to sleep. It is the Yogi Nighttime Tea, and it's this other immune system booster while you sleep tea. I'll post them later in the shorts. All right, so what I want to know, um, what is my collective's person thinking of you tonight before they lay down. Before your person goes to sleep tonight, what is on their mind when it comes to you? Thank you, Holy Angels. Holy Spirit. What's wrong with my hands? Ugh. Of the highest white light. I call upon Archangel Michael. Come down here and help us with this love message. Thank you. All right, y'all. Please be sure to like, share. Just like and share so I can pick up all y'all energy. All right. First card out is passion. Your person is feeling a lot of passion for you. We have... Give your relationship a chance. Your person loves you. Your person feels as if they have a lot of feelings for you, a lot of passion for you. You know, y'all are very passionate about each other. And both of these both of these cards, they're hugging, you know, it's like they're kissing. You know, like I feel like that your your person wants to make love to you. Love yourself first, see? And then they're kissing again. Your person definitely wants to make love to you. You know, like they're possibly in bed fantasizing about the times that y'all did have sex. But the more you love yourself first, the more your person like loves you more. You feel me? Heart to heart conversations. So yes, your person wants to talk about giving this relationship a another chance. Your person wants to talk about uh, each other's feelings to see if y'all still have that passion there that was there in the beginning, if you get what I'm saying. So the message on my tea is find your unity in your service to all. So when I hear that, it makes me think of, you know, what is your why on when you do things? You know, um, if you read tarot on YouTube, why do you read tarot on YouTube? You know, if you're a business owner, why would you like to run that type of business? You know, providing those types of services. You know, you should always ask yourself those questions. This tea is so motherfucking good. <clears throat> so let's get into the tarot. You know, let's get into the tarot, bro. Your person have a lot of passion. Your person want to communicate with you, talking about giving this relationship another chance. Maybe in the beginning, y'all didn't even get that far to even giving each other a chance. You feel me? But the more that you love yourself first, the more that you work on yourself, the more romantically attractive you become. So let's see what the tarot got going on. I need to get my rug. I hate the fact that this table just like, it's like I got to shuffle over me. Five of Cups. So, I feel like that 
your person may have walked away from you before and your person is thinking about this regret on why he walked away from you. You feel me? It's like your person is thinking about tonight how they walked away from you and how stupid they were. They really regret this shit. They regret for putting an end to it because it really didn't do nothing but break their heart. It's like when they walked away from you, they put a death to all happiness in their life. You know, all peace. It's like your person went through some some uh, a dark night of the soul. Your person went through a dark night of the soul when they decided to walk away from you. <sighs> what else is my collector's person thinking about tonight, Spirit? Three of Swords. This person is thinking about how they broke your heart. This person is in some depressed energy tonight, thinking about how they broke your heart. Thinking about all, like, they're guilty about how, how, whatever it is that they did. They're guilty about putting an end to the situation. They're guilty for putting you in heartbreak. And this person wants to come and give this, this person wants to come and work on this relationship because when they walked away from you, you start loving yourself first. So now they like, hold up. My person is getting away from me. You feel me? Like, now all of this passion came out. And now they want to talk about what they did and how they did it type shit. This person wants to talk about how they're sorry about having you wait. Because they knew that they shouldn't have had you waiting in the beginning. Because they knew that they weren't ready for this type of commitment that you wanted from this person. This person is sorry for like holding their guard up. No, this person is sorry for having you wait. And they're sorry for having up their, their guard. Like they had their guard up. It's like they were standing firmly on the fact that Divine Feminine is going to wait. She don't have no choice but to wait. Because I'm not ready, but I don't want to get rid of her either. So when the Feminine started saying, like, hold up, my guy. You feel me? Like, I'm not about to sit up here and wait on you while you have all of these other options. So since the Feminine wasn't giving the Masculine what it is that he wanted, he decided to walk away from this feminine and he really didn't do nothing but break his own heart in the end. So, yeah. The Ten of Cups fell on the floor. And y'all know we don't take the cards that fell on the floor. You see how up here he's in this dark energy? What he really wants is this Ten of Cups with you. But he know he fucked up. So give me one last card. The Devil. I'm going to have to shuffle on the table. Your person made a bad investment by choosing to walk away from you. So you, your person really is like all over the place. This person is upset about pretty much everything that they did. Your person made some bad choices, okay? <laughs> This person made some bad choices. And now the only thing that they can do is sit up here in depression, crying when they're the cause of everything. But now they're like, 
ah, oh, she's loving herself too much type shit. Let me go try to fix this relationship with my person, you know? What does the wisdom oracle got for us? Thank you, Holy Angels. Show me what you want my collector to see. Serendipity. Chop wood and poise. This person thinks that, like, you're, like, very happy. You're, like, a happy-go-lucky type person. And this person, like, misses that in their life. Yeah, this person is stuck in, at, at a fork in a row. And they want to go the distance and come towards you to mend this relationship. Because your person sees that. All that glitters is not motherfucking gold. So your person probably left you for a situation that he thought was going to be more happy. That he thought was going to bring more money. That he thought was going to actually work out. He thought that it was going to be better than what, what it is that you were offering. You know, because who wherever it is that your person went to. Your person had control over this situation. You feel me? And it's like just everything turned left because everything is not about control. And you shouldn't want to control anyone. It's a difference between being in control and being controlling. <clears throat> Net bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Somebody probably listened to Boosie. I don't even know why the fuck that song just popped up in my head. The answers you need are coming. Show the world the real you. The energy is gaining momentum. And don't let your past hold you back. So... There you have it. This is what your person is thinking about tonight. This person has passion for you, wants to come in and mend this relationship, but they cannot stop thinking about they're very guilty and they can't get it out of their fucking head. It's like every single last choice they made that was outside of you made everything pretty much worse. So there you have it. Please be sure to like, share, and motherfucking subscribe. I'll be back in the morning, y'all. I'm sleepy. Good night.